What's up guys, it's Denver here and today I want to talk about cheat meals. Everybody wants to know about cheat meals. When do I get a cheat meal? Where is my cheat meal? I will write a personalized nutrition plan for clients all the time and that basically means I will give them a set meal plan or a diet or a list of foods to eat with an amount that they should be consuming and all the foods that they eat are going to be enjoyable that they like and the amounts are measured which means the total calories, protein, carbs and fats are all going to be sufficient or controlled which will lead towards lean gains or fat loss or whatever their goal is right and sufficient vitamins, minerals etc. But the first question I always get is even though the foods are that are listed on those plans are based on what they actually prefer to eat and foods that they love and the foods that they know that when they eat it they mentally just feel healthier and better for doing so always get asked hey man where's my cheat meal when do I get a cheat meal now within my plans I do offer refeeds and I make suggestions for having higher calorie or carb days etc but I don't specifically say hey you should have a cheat meal every Friday or every Saturday or every whatever it might be now regardless of that I'm gonna go ahead and say I am not against having cheat meals. I personally don't call them a cheat meal. I would prefer to call them something like a relaxed meal, something like pretty much a relaxed meal. I guess like some people will call it a free meal or a cheat meal or a cheat, uh, cheat day or whatever. Um, I think a relaxed meal basically means not really stressing about what you're eating, just eating foods that are different to what you're typically consuming in most cases it's going to be in a social setting where it would not be appropriate to try to track or guesstimate your calories that you're consuming or weighing or whatever or you just don't have the actual um, ability, ability to do so example you go to a restaurant you don't know what to add to that most restaurants are adding so many more calories that we don't even think about or know about you know you don't always taste oil or butter in food if it's covered with other sources and things of that nature. Anyways, cheat meals are totally fine with one rule or guideline or consideration. Cheat meals are totally fine to be incorporated into your meal plan or to, into your basic lifestyle or whatever it is. And let's, let's go ahead and call it a relaxed meal. Totally cool. If you are getting results from what you are doing based on your actions and your decisions for the six other days of the week or even seven other days or the 42 other meals of the week or whatever it might be or 41 other meals of the week if you are getting results by doing what you're currently doing a cheat meal or a relaxed meal is probably not going to set you back and if you incorporate cheat meals and you still continue to get some positive results leading towards the right direction that you want, whether it's weight gain or weight loss, then totally fine to have a cheat meal. So, you do not need to track your macros every single day of your life. You do not need to know the exact macronutrient content of every single food that you put into your mouth. Sometimes you can guess and sometimes you can just not care at all and just say, hey, I'm having a relaxed meal, I'm all good, you know, I've been on point with my diet, I'm happy with how I'm looking, life is in a good place, I can do this, no problem. So, cheat meals are totally fine in my books, but you need to, in a way, earn them or deserve them or not put yourself, or not set yourself back by doing so, by having one. The reason why I call it a relaxed meal as well is because you're probably not going to think about having a relaxed meal and think, hey, I'm going to have three pizzas, a tub of ice cream, then I'm going to go to the movies, get a big popcorn and have a large Coke, and then I'm going to go home and finish off everything else in the house. That's more associated with something like a cheat meal, right? And um, if you're doing a relaxed meal, you're probably going to think, hey, I'm going to have, I'm going to go out and have a steak and some wine, I'm gonna have a dessert or whatever, and the total calories consumed are probably gonna be lower than something that's considered a control, uh, a cheat, or something that's got less of a controlled mindset in place. So if you wanna have a cheat meal, hey, if you're one of my clients and you wanna have a cheat meal, put in the work, be consistent, you know, keep your body 
in a caloric deficit by sticking to the program if fat loss is your focus, by putting in the weight training, by doing the cardio if there's cardio that you need to be doing, and then you can go ahead and enjoy a relaxed meal once or twice a week and not really have any concerns because you're going to be in a happy place. And for some people, having that cheat meal can help to encourage or motivate them to be better in regards to their you know, choices and their training and their eating, whatever else, throughout the week. So that's something to consider as well because we do, as human nature, we do rely on external motivation to keep us pushing when it comes to a few things in life. So that's something to consider too. When you have a cheat meal or a relaxed meal, you tend to be more excited about eating those healthier foods that you're more accustomed to and you just feel better about doing. So, so that's it guys. If you want to have a cheat meal, go ahead and do so. If you see me eating like donuts or whatever and I am still in good shape, I'm doing the right thing for the most part. I'm maintaining energy balance, I'm eating at maintenance, I'm in a small surplus or I'm in a small deficit or whatever it is, I'm eating towards my goals and my, your physique will actually show that. So don't be hating if you see people you know, eating junk on Facebook or whatever and you're like, what's the macros, bro? And they're like, I don't know, man. I don't care what the macros are because it's, life is not that serious. And you don't need to track every single gram of every nutrient that you put in your mouth on a daily basis. In saying that, I am on my way to go and eat a simple meal of chicken, rice, and vegetables because I am a bro like that, but I may or may not have some ice cream later, and it may or may not fit my macros. That's all I'm saying. Leave you guys to think it, think about that whatever way you want to. Have a good day. Do your best to be your best and set up some structure that's enjoyable, exciting, and helps you to maintain a healthy level of body fat, a healthy mind, and a great body. See you guys.